هو ما يدير ام دكتور علاء مصباح بروفيسور اوف اوبستيتريكس اند جينيكولوجي فاكولتي في ميديسن منصوره يونيفرستي وات وي هاف تو دي وي هاف سكيل اوف كاستر انسرشن اند وات ار ذا تايبس اوف كاستر اوكي سو وي هاف تو تايبس اوف كاستر انترميتنت كاستر اند اند ويرين كاستر وان اكزامبل اوف ذا انترميتنت كاستر از ذيس وان از كولد نيلتون كاستر اند Another example of indwelling caster is Foley's caster. This one, okay, of different sizes, of course. So the use of intermittent caster is to evacuate the bladder. Can be used by the uh, healthcare provider and also the patient, if trained, can do it at home. Okay. So the aim of of nalaton caster is to evacuate the bladder in case of retention of urine okay we have different sizes as you see this is an orange one this is 16 in french or charrier and you should know what is the diameter denoting the diameter which is written on the package denoting the outer diameter of the caster the outer diameter of the caster is the diameter I'm saying. It is said in French, gauge, or in charrier. Charrier equal to three times a millimeter. When I said caster 12, for example, size 12, size 12 equal to four millimeter. Four millimeter. So the diameter, the whole diameter is four millimeter, okay? Okay, but in French or Sherrier, it is said it is 12, okay? Okay, so what is the structure of the Nelaton caster? It is a smooth tube, as you see, with rounded end, with hole near the end, this one. As you see, this is the hole, okay? So. What is the aim? This hole to allow the passage of urine through this tube to out. Okay. I evacuate the urine inside the package, collecting bag like this one, or in a bottle in case of nilton, because I'm I'm not fixing nilton. I'm just it is called intermittent caster. So just to evacuate the brother then get it out and remove it okay so i can evacuate inside this bottle or inside collecting bag this is called intermittent caster as i said it has rounded end opening near the end to allow passage of urine and the outer end is funnel shaped wider okay as you see it can be connected to collecting bag as as you see like this one like this but i'm not in need i can evacuate it inside any bottle that's enough because i will remove it okay this is what's called the intermittent caster nilotin caster the other example is fullis caster fullis caster this is under the category of indwelling caster. Indwelling caster include two main important items. Either Foley's caster or silicon caster or suprapubic caster, which inserted suprapubic through a minor surgeon inside the bladder, okay? But this Foley's caster inserted through the urethra, okay? I have different sizes, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on as the same as Nelaton. What is suitable for women, adult women? 10 and the 12 is more of common use and suitable as regard to the urethra of the woman. We know that woman urethra is shorter than male urethra, so usually the caster length is shorter also, okay? So what about the 
component of this caster. This caster has a tube like this one and a hole near the end here, as you see. Okay. And the balloon. And the balloon. Here is the balloon. So the full caster contains two channels, one for the passage of urine and one for inflation of the balloon through this port. This is for the passage of urine and this is for inflation of the balloon with 10 centimeter of sterile urine, of sterile water, sorry, of sterile water, okay? We want to lock to the balloon how it is inflated after we insert the caster, please lock to the balloon, sorry, this is how the balloon is inflated, okay, when you want to remove the caster after two weeks or one week, you deflate the balloon like this. You should deflate the balloon, okay? Like this. Then extract the, the caster out. So full caster different than Nelotin in having this balloon. Why this balloon? To keep the caster inside the bladder for longer time. So we call it in the willing caster. So it can be used for days, weeks, and so on. A wild Nelton caster is used only at the same moment to evacuate the bladder, then remove it. Okay? So it is not fixed in place. But full caster is fixed through this balloon. Okay? Another caster with three channels, but not available with me right now. The third we know now that we have two channels, one for the passage of urine will be connected to the collecting bag of urine, like this, like this one, okay, and the other one, the other channel for the balloon. There is another caster with three channels. The third one will be for flushing of the bladder after bladder surgery. Okay, to remove the blood clots and the debris inside the bladder and so okay but this only this one this example has only two channels one for the balloon and one for the passage of your okay of course we have different coat of for for this caster there may be silicone caster coated by silicone can be maintained inside the bladder for longer period maybe one month okay but it still have this advantage being is tough. What is important for me when I inserted the the caster inside the bladder, the indwelling caster, like Foley's caster, to use smaller size, smaller size, smaller diameter, to be less irritant to the bladder and to the bladder neck. Okay, so not to cause a spasm. So the smaller diameter will be helpful. So usually in women, I can use 10 to 12 millimeter in adult women, but in pediatric, we can use a smaller diameter according to the age of the child, okay? But we are talking about the adult women, we can use 10 to 12 is quite enough for us to decrease the bladder irritation and bladder neck irritation or damage to the bladder neck or urethra, okay? Decrease the occurrence of, this is, the collecting bag, collect, it is graduated as you see, for up to 2000 milliliter, okay, with valve at the end. If you want to evacuate the collected urine, you push it down here, then evacuate, okay. After you finish, you can close it by pushing it up like that. So down, to release the valve to evacuate the collecting bag content of urine and the up 
to close it again this is as regard the collecting bag what is the problem that may face you after insertion the patient may have asymptomatic bacteria asymptomatic bacteria in non-pregnant lady has no treatment according to guidelines but in pregnant lady it should be treated properly with antibiotic as regard asymptomatic bacteria during pregnancy so any for any reason pregnant lady we insert a fully caster for her so we should manage asymptomatic bacteria but if she is not pregnant according to the gu guidelines there is no need for treatment but what if we have symptomatic bacteria symptoms of urinary tract infection like dysuria frequency loin pain fever and so on so on so we should do during culture and sensitivity and give the proper antibiotics okay okay so one of your risks may develop with prolonged caster use is urinary tract infection the other risk also this hole may be blocked with incrustation blood clot and so on so you should change the forest caster okay because it blocked the passage of urine through closure of this hole some believe that if you used orange juice or lemon juice due to citric acid effect on the bh can decrease the incrustation and the possibility of blockage of the folic caster but this is i have a little evidence in guideline okay but some believe that it can be helpful to prevent blockage of folic caster so today we have two examples of caster the intermittent caster nilton caster and the indwelling caster which is folic caster okay i hope it was clear enough thank you everybody my best wishes for all of you